And we are back with legendary designer Michael Sinku talking everything fashion, an icon, a legend, and you're taking part in Dubai Fashion Week this uh, week. Arab Fashion Week. Yeah, sorry. Mm -hmm. Arab Fashion Week, my bad. Uh, I saw your show last season. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thank you so much. And I'm so honored. Good thank morning. You. Fashion's all ours. His big intro. His we had a full <laughs> intro plan. You guys are in Dubai. It's currently in the middle of the most glamorous time of the year. Fashion week, like Shahir said. And with us today is a force to be reckoned with. A legendary Dubai-based fashion designer creating some of the most beautiful couture dresses that you've probably seen on your favorite celebrities, including Gaga, Beyonce, Banks. So welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you so much for inviting me here. It's so early, but <laughs> I love it here. <laughs> Thanks so for early. coming. We really appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, but before we get into it, Simran, Simran's never seen your shoes before. <laughs> She's I've never fascinated. Seen any, yeah, I, I, I think I'm <laughs> way out of the designer scene because I didn't know that they have wallets on shoes now. I think it's the biggest trend now. It is. is it yeah, is. it is. It? Wow. Yeah, so he's basically wearing a uh, Prada, uh, a Prada boots, Prada yeah. boots. Okay. Uh, you know the one with the little pouch on the side, and they've coin been doing coin bags. Like yeah. the shoes come yeah. with coin bags. They have the pouch also on the sleeve. Like it's he's so in right now. He's literally walking on money. <laughs> <laughs> walking <What>? in fashion, <laughs> walking in style, and sling at the same time. Thank you. So you stand those shoes, but do you stand the Balenciaga torn ripped shoes? Uh, yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> what are your thoughts on them? Like, <laughs> I think uh, it's great collaboration. Yeah, and I like also the idea of the design. Yeah. What are, is, is it even a design? <laughs> it's like torn, ripped, dirty shoes. Yeah. Well, I think people love this kind of trend. Yeah. Yeah. They, like, they have a certain market for that. Okay, so if you have dirty shoes, just don't wash them. Or don't get them cleaned up because it's a I trend right now. I think that's right the now. concept of the design. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Making poor a thing. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about the Balenciaga and Crocs collaboration? And they're still going with it. <laughs> I think uh, I love the Balenciaga and the Adidas collaboration. Yeah. And also the Crocs collaboration. I think it's it will work well with the market. It's so funny. It's yeah. so funny. With Fashion Week going on right now, so some of the top <clears throat> trends are like. Uh, loose denims, loose suits. So what are the trends that you find right now will really pick up and stay for the Actually, whole Actually, I'm going to showcase my latest collection, menswear collection in Arab Fashion Week. And I'm showcasing a lot of loose jackets. Okay. More on a relaxed outfit, which is more on trend now. Okay. So that's what you're going <coughs> to showcase. When is your fashion show happening? Uh, it will be on uh, uh, June 29, next week. June 29th. Yeah. Oh You're all invited. You should come. Uh, really? No, <laughs> yeah. Because I, I should hear, I got to tell you, when Sink, Michael Sinko came in, like the whole team was so excited. Obsessed. Millie came Obsessed. Running. She <laughs> left everything. And she's like, I got Sinko. Oh. <laughs> she literally Thank ran. You so much. She literally ran. <laughs> but literally bought all the vibes. Um, so, uh, how would you say <clears throat> our Fashion Week is different and compares to like Paris Fashion Week, Jewelry Fashion Week, Milan? Well, I have a fashion week because it's showcasing a lot of uh, young designers yeah. uh, based in the Middle East. And, you know, it is a great platform to show to the world that there are a lot of talented designers here in the Middle East. Not just Arab, but also uh, designers who are based here for a long time. So uh, I want to know a little bit more about you now. And was fashion something you've always wanted to get into? Or were you, did you have other yeah, hobbies? Yeah, I always wanted to be a fashion designer ever since when I was a kid. OK. Yeah, and uh, the, my dream of becoming a fashion designer started when I watched a movie of Audrey Hepburn, My Fair Lady. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Good one. <laughs> you know, I was mesmerized by the beautiful costumes in that movie. So. From that moment, I know exactly that I want to be in the world of fashion. Oh, wow. Would you say she's your muse? <laughs> Audrey Hepburn, of course. Yeah. She's my biggest muse. Maria Callas also. Oh, yes. I love her, and I love her music. I always listen to Maria Callas <laughs> whenever I'm making a collection. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so did Audrey Hepburn uh, influence your personal style? Because you have like an all-black demeanor. All Not my personal style, style but in my fashion style. When I do designs, I always think about Audrey Hepburn wearing it. 
Okay. Yeah. So, would you say that she's uh, my my cousin? fashion style is very boring. I always wear black. <laughs> I'm the same. I'm the same. <laughs> oh, would you? <laughs> Why? Why is that? I think uh, because that's the only color that makes me slim. Oh. Look slimmer. <laughs> okay, fashion tip. Number one, wear black to look and, slim. And uh, you don't worry about what you will wear the next day because you'll all be wearing the same color anyway. <laughs> so you just repeat outfits? Uh, not really, but... <laughs> <laughs> but if you do, no one will notice. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> you also help the environment being sustainable and mm. you keep on wearing the same outfit for, for a week. So it doesn't right? matter. There's but I don't do that. I always yeah. change every day. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. A ton of black shirts in my closet. But who would you say is a Michael Sinker woman? Uh, for me, I think a Michael Sinker woman is very determined. She's independent. Mm -hmm. She's a very strong-willed uh, woman. But at the same time, she's, she has her own feminine side. Mm -hmm. She's very fashionable. So that's who she here. Yeah. That. yeah. <laughs> and a Michael Sinker man? Uh, Michael Sinkerman is, of course, always gorgeous. Mm -hmm. He has to be adventurous also when it comes to fashion. He doesn't, uh, he's not afraid to try many things. And very, very on trend. Love that. Honestly. So um, you've been dressing a ton of celebrities. Amazing dresses. Who would you say? Thank you. Uh, honestly, <laughs> they're honestly so beautiful. Who is someone that you'd like to work with in the future? I, it has been always my dream to dress up Madonna. Oh. I think she's one of the, living, uh, the biggest living legend at the moment. I send so many clothes to her, but unfortunately she never wore any of my, uh, of my uh, dresses. So That's her loss. hopeful in the future. Her loss, Madonna. Fingers crossed. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, okay, you've met a ton of celebrities. Out of all of them. I actually never met them. Oh, you never met? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Again, their loss. <laughs> you know? I never met any of the celebrities except Mariah Carey. I had a oh. personal fitting with her. Okay. No way. Wait, so, so for Aifa, all the celebrities that you designed gowns for, you've not met I them? I never met them. Okay. Yeah, only I met the stylists. They come and borrow the clothes and they just give me the measurements. Okay, yes. so it's a very like fast, fast, fast transaction. Fast the whole transaction. Thing. So the what whole happens thing. to these outfits after these celebrities wear them? Do they go on auction? Do uh, or do they go back to the store? No, they return, they return them. Yeah, most of the clothes that I use uh, uh, that I create for the celebrities are on loan. Okay. Yeah. So loan. after the events, they return them. And then do you resize it and resell it? Ah uh, yes. Uh, no, we don't uh, resell them. We put it in an archive. Archive. Yeah. Okay. So the fashion industry, super hectic, and there's this time constraint, right? So you have about three months to design a collection, <coughs> and then the next season, and then the next season. How yeah. do you stay um, creative and keep the creative juices flowing? I think you just have to go with the flow. Okay. I travel a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm always inspired when I travel, and it's very actually stressful, especially when you create a uh, a new design, a new collection for a certain season, but I can manage. I love, uh, I, I always work under pressure. Do you do like um, two weeks of designing and then the production bit, or is it an ongoing process? Uh, it's an ongoing process. Sometimes it takes me six months to finish a collection. Wow. Yeah. Whoa. And then you just keep it all for the very last minute and under pressure and procrastination, you just get it all rolling. Actually, sometimes I don't know what I'm doing and I'm, <laughs> I don't know what's the inspiration all about. But when I see the collection that is uh, already doing, being done, so that's the only time that I create, like, this is the inspiration for this collection. That's so relatable. Like, I don't think half the time any of us know what we're doing. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> doing it. We just go with the flow. Go with the flow. I think the most important is when you relax and you're happy. Very yeah. true. Now I have to ask you a question that uh, people need the answer to. Okay, two questions. One will be Kim Kardashian later. But the first question is, now Dubai people, like us normal, not normal people folks. who can't <laughs> afford designer wear, right? Like we want fashion tips. And what is uh, Dubai's biggest style change? Like wh what are we expecting for the summer season? What colors and what patterns are we going to see and what should people wear? Actually, people in Dubai are very fashionable. Mm -hmm.
the horse racing. Okay. I thought that would be fashionable when you see all women in the streets wearing beautiful and different kind of hats. Hats, oh hair God. bands. Hair bands, yeah. yeah. I think that would be amazing. What about men? Men, I think they wear everything. They wear anything. So like yeah. loose baggy clothes for the summer, light color uh, palettes. Light color and then uh, just relaxed clothes. Relax. Naturally Not uh, tight. tight. Yeah. Okay. Little baggy, flowy. Perfect for the uh, weather. Flowy clothes are best for the Dubai summer. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so that's your summer fashion tip from the man himself. <laughs> we got you covered. Uh, so you... Ask about Kim Kardashian. Oh, what about Kim Kardashian? <laughs> like, what does he think? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's so many things you could ask. I'll tell you, what? you ask him. Okay, say, sorry. Okay, so you know the dress, the Marilyn Monroe dress? <gasps> what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> I think people... A lot of people said that, you know, it has, it is sacred. Mm -hmm. It has to be like in the museum only, and Kim Kardashian doesn't need to wear it. But for me, when she wore it, people became aware that it was a Marilyn Monroe dress. Exactly. Exactly, especially now the young generation who are not aware who is Marilyn Monroe and where did she wear this dress, mm -hmm. which is very significant because she wore it during the John Kennedy's birthday. Yeah. And I think it's very important and it's very relevant mm -hmm. for people to know that this is a very important dress. Very true. And I think her <coughs> losing weight and all of that was criticized. But uh, that's so funny because at the time when Marilyn Monroe was a celebrity, she was considered <coughs> a... Uh, Voluptuous. Yes, exactly. And now you realize that Kim had to lose so much weight to get into Just to fit dress. in the dress. I think she didn't really lose that much of, a lot of weight. I think they altered it in her size. Oh, no you think yeah. so? What about the ribs? What do you think about that? I think you just have to... It's in a museum. People should be responsible to take good care of it. Exactly. And they have to alter it again and make it something like museum worthy. Yeah. That's the most important thing. When people sometimes, there are so many celebrities who wear my clothes, when they return it, there are some damages. You just have to fix it. Okay. It's an iconic dress. You cannot post, you cannot put it in a museum like it's ripped and damaged. You just have to do it again. Very true. Oh my Speaking God. of iconic dresses, <laughs> we would like to play a game with you. Okay. It is called <laughs> Class Your Trashy. A class. <laughs> 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 We're going to show you a bunch of dresses and you tell us basically whether you think it's classy or trashy. Okay. And this is over the decades, basically. Okay. Do you not okay. want to ask about... Okay. But before that, can we ask about Real Housewives of Dubai and dressing them up? Um, I dress up some of the two uh, stars mm -hmm. in the uh, Real Housewives of Dubai. And I didn't really watch the first season, so I think it would be good. You think it's gonna look good? Which two stars did you dress up? Um, Ayan oh. and Caroline. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Caroline Stanbury? It's Caroline Stanbury. Okay, yeah. so the two cool. enemies. So. <laughs> yeah, we see what you're doing. <laughs> so, can we jump into the game? We'd like to play Classy okay, or Trashy. Sure. Okay, these are dresses over the decades. These are also iconic dresses, but also controversial. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so first up on the list is Courtney Love. Uh, you can see in the screen over there or beside us, Courtney yeah, Love Courtney in Love. the... Yeah? Uh, for me, it's trashy. Yeah? Trashy? Yeah. Agreed. <laughs> okay. Uh, up next, Bjork. Uh, at the this 20... is one of the most criticized dresses ever worn in Oscar Awards. But <laughs> it became iconic, actually. It became very famous, worn by Bjork. For me, it's tacky. Not trashy and not classic. Oh, mm, middle tacky. ground. <laughs> tacky. I see it, yeah. And next up, of course, we have uh, the Kim, the Kardashian. I had to, like, look down to know her this name. This was criticized, actually, because uh, the print looks like a sofa. Yeah. <laughs> during This is actually during the Met Gala. Yeah, she yeah. she. I think, uh, for me, it's very classy, because this is the first time that she, w she attended the Met Gala. Now, I, I and everyone like was criticizing because she's not supposed to be there. Mm -hmm. But she became an American icon. Exactly. You know, let's face it, everybody, everybody hates the Kardashian, but they're an icon. They're, yeah. yeah. In, the, in the new American, uh, in, the, in, the, in the new <laughs> royal <laughs> family, the new American royal family. <laughs> yeah. Love that. We stand the Kardashians on this show, you guys. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> we do. Okay, up next, Katy Perry in uh, Moschino. It's also in Meet Gala. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, this kind of uh, th this is actually part of the 
punk punk, punk uh, theme of okay. uh, uh, the Met Gala. I think it goes with the theme, but I find it very tacky. Not cra not crashy, mm -hmm. but tacky. I feel like if it was like black. <laughs> Okay, next up we have Ellie Golding's Halloween costume from 2014. Well, it's a Halloween costume, so anything goes. And it, it's trashy or tacky, whatever, it's a Halloween costume. No, but like, even as, like, we have some incredible Halloween costumes. Yeah. But this one, what would you say for this? Uh, crashy. <laughs> trashy. Uh, trashy, not crashy. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know what, either way, it's... That. The word's been said. The yeah. word, like... It, so, okay, last but not least, okay, this is a very, This very is a very one. iconic, uh, actually, dress worn by Lady Gaga in, I think it's MTV or yeah. Grammy Awards. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, MTV. MTV Awards. He knows his fashion. <laughs> yeah, actually become iconic because of the meat. It's a real meat. What? It's the meat dress. It's Lady Gaga? Yeah. Yeah. It is, and it's real meat, yeah. It's the real meat dress, so I would say it's iconic. Not classy, not, cra not trashy. Real meat dress is iconic. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, trashy. Yeah, but, but she was trying to say that's so famous. That's what made her famous. Yeah, it's, it, that's made her one of the clothes that made her famous. Actually, what do you think? This made her famous, <clears throat> or her entrance in a giant egg? This one is more talk about. Yeah. Wow! Just turn dead animals into fashion. Why don't? Well, no, she was trying to send a message. She was trying to send a message. It was about animal cruelty and what it plays into, fa uh, how it plays into fashion. Okay. But yeah, it that is. That makes sense then. It is a real <laughs> meat dress. Well, that was the last one. The, so there's no class <laughs> among the choices. <laughs> they were the most controversial ones over the years, over the last three <laughs> decades, I think. Okay. So we are a very picky designer now, with so with taste. With class, with, with class, elegance. With taste. With, with, yeah. no, because sometimes, actually, most of the celebrities, they have taste, but they want to create drama. Yeah. You know, they want to shock people, so they wear this kind of clothes. Like Lady Gaga, when she changed her her fashion style, I think she looks classy. Yeah, yeah. for yeah. sure. I said that literally a few Sometimes days ago. Sometimes it depends on the people who handles them. Yeah, the exactly. stylist. Yeah, the yeah. stylist. They want to really want to people to talk about, and it, it worked on Lady Gaga. I think even yeah, with the males, uh, Harry Styles is really experimenting. Yeah, and just he's wearing in. a lot of you know indigenous outfit. Uh -huh. Which everyone is, you know, noticing, and it's very important. It yeah. is at this uh, at this time when everyone is doing so many things. <laughs> you have to be relevant. Relevant, exactly. yeah, experimental. Uh, but thank yeah. you so so thank much. Thank you for so much. I'm so show. honored. You were amazing. I've been a big fan of Loving Dubai for almost. Uh, Five or ten, uh, eight okay. years now. No eight way. Years. Oh, That's amazing. Even <laughs> before we came in, you were a fan. And finally, I met Shimreen. <laughs> Looks Aww. gorgeous in person. Oh, she is, God. right? <laughs> she is. <laughs> you know what? That's the craziest thing because every day, like every time there's a new gown that's out or like a celebrity's wearing it, we all go ham in the office. Like our, our designer, because you know, we stand yeah, yeah. you, Dubai's very own Michael Cinco. Oh, thank you. Rep in the scene. So, um, Congrats on everything and hope the fashion show goes amazing. And see you, there. Yeah. <laughs> and see you there. I'm going to invite you and see you there. 29th June, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, guys. That's the place to be on 29th June. That was Michael Cinco for us. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining us. Guys, that's it for the show today. Tomorrow, hopefully you have Casey back. But that's it from us. That's it for me for this week. <laughs> same time, same place tomorrow at 8.30. Stay safe. And take a shower. <laughs> <laughs>